da 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 Welcome to Sylvia Super Austin Mini Maker Show, Season 3, Episode 1. On this episode, we're going to look deep, deep into your body to find out what makes you tick. It's your heart, but we don't need to cut you open to learn more about it. All we need is a little green light. Today we'll be making an Arduino-based pendant that flashes to your heartbeat with a super awesome open source pull sensor. Let's go! For this bloodtastic build, we will need... An Arduino, I'll be using the ProtoSnap LilyPad development board available from the Maker Shed, but any kind will do, 3 or 5 volt. The pull sensor kit, also from the Maker Shed, small gauge wire, soldering iron, solder, and a hot glue gun, an old silver chain or cord necklace, some small assorted LEDs, and finally, a makeshift pendant. It could be paper, leather, or an old pendant you want to upgrade. I'm going to use this cool example PCB I got from Seed Studio. First, let's prep our pendant. Plan out what LEDs you want on it and how you're going to wire them. We'll be tying into pin 11 and ground, so in one LED lights, they'll all light straight from the logic voltage provided. Use an online LED circuit calculator to make sure you have the right resistance for the voltage and your LED types. If you're doing this with an old or custom pendant, you can simply solder the LEDs to each other, dead bug style. Short lead is ground. Then hot glue them on. Or use a proto board for a nicer looking circuit. I'll be covering the whole back with some soft material when I'm done to help protect the circuit and me. Once you've got your pendant soldered up, measure out two equal pieces of your small gauge wire, about three quarters of the length of your whole necklace. Solder them to each positive and ground of your pendant circuit, then be sure to add lots of hot glue to your solder joints to keep them from breaking. Now attach your pendant to the necklace, then carefully wind the wire around the chain or cord. Loop it through or tie it at the top to make sure it doesn't move around too much. And you've got it! Now for the sensor. First, we need to protect it. Squeeze a bit of hot glue onto the sensitive parts on the back, then squish it onto the sticky part backing of some masking tape or some paper. When it's cooled, simply peel it off, then add a bit more glue for wire strain relief. Now take a little plastic circle guard and stick it to the front of your sensor. Now we can glue the metal ear clip to the sensor and then follow the guide on PullSensor.com to get their latest Arduino code and upload it to the Arduino. The default pull sensor sketch has everything we need built in, so you won't need to change a thing. To test, plug in the red sensor cable into 5 volts the black one into ground, then the purple one to analog zero. Zero! With power, the sensor should light up a bright green. Wow! Now put an LED on ground and pin five. Then press the sensor to your fingertip. If you get it positioned right, the LED should flash to your heartbeat. Awesome! But how in the world can a little green light see my heartbeat? And what? is a heartbeat anyways. Now it's time for SmartBot's Thinking Lab, where we try to explain how things work. So what is a heartbeat? In most creatures, there's a heart. Wrong heart, oops, sorry. It's this big pulsating lump of muscle that pumps this blood stuff everywhere in the body. That's what I do. Pumping blood. Zhoo, zhoo. Oh, our oh blood helps God. carry stuff that our body needs. Oh, here comes the inbound trunk. Oh, they're nice guys. Like nutrients, oxygen, and heat. Go on, you guys. You are great. It even helps move the bad stuff away. Oh, and then the nasty outbound. Like lactic acid, phosphates, and carbon dioxide. Get out. You get out. Bye-bye. Without our heart moving everything around? Oh, no. Oh no, I'm not feeling too well. Here we go. We wouldn't be oh, alive. Oh. Ah! Your heart pumps faster when you're scared. Or when you run around and play. It's really good to get exercise every day because your heart has to work every single second, every hour for the rest of your life, even if you don't. It's a good thing we can measure how it's doing. Try it out yourself. Just place two fingers on your radial artery, on your wrist, in line with your thumb. 
Apply a little pressure and you should feel it. What you're feeling is a pressure wave as your heart pushes all the blood through thousands of little pipes throughout your body. It's hard work. Count the pulses you feel in 30 seconds, double it, and you have your pulse rate. A while ago, some pretty smart guys figured out that if you shine a bright light at someone's skin and watch how it reflects back, you can see that it gets brighter and darker depending on how the blood moves under the skin. If you look really closely at the front of the pulse sensor, zoop, you can see a teeny weeny little light sensor. It's sensitive enough to pick up tiny changes in reflected light when the blood flows through capillary tissue under the skin. Though it doesn't work so well on your wrist, it works great on your fingers, earlobes, and even the middle of your forehead. Once you got your sensor tested, it's time to put it all together. For the lily pad, first we change the analog input in the code to pin 5. Next, soldering ground and pin 11 from our LED pendant leads. <laughs> then cut off the jumper pins on our sensor. <laughs> Ta-da! And solder on the power leads. Then the sensor lead to analog pad 5. But don't forget the strain leaf height glue. To keep it up and out of the way, I'm going to use an old hair clip and hot glue it to the back of the lily pad. Then we'll use the little rechargeable battery that came with the lily pad, tucked underneath to power it all. Attach the sensor, switch the power on the lily pad, and now I'm wearing my heart around my neck. Bum bum, bum bum. That's it for this episode. Be sure and experiment with different uses for the sensor. Take care of your heart, and remember, get out there and mix.